Sierra alongside as we get set to go off of turn number three and four. Mike LeClaire looks the field over. The Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 modifies are green. First time into turns one and two. Jordan McCready gets the advantage. We got a car off the speedway over there in turns one and two, way out off the racetrack. Yellow lights are on. Looks like that's Michael Cousins in the 73. Green flag set to come back out up off of turn number four. Jordan McCready is the control car. He sees it first, steps on the gas, then gets away. McCready down on the low lane. Taylor Caprera loves that outside lane around here. Taylor Caprera a couple of years ago ran an extreme outside lane all the way to his first ever Dirt Car Sportsman feature win. Right now he's looking for his first ever Dirt Car 358 modified win. He's got the lead as we complete lap number two. Two contrasting ways to get around the Canyon Speedway. And right now each driver has found some speed out there as Fuller may found a little bit more up off the turn. Tim Fuller to the bottom trying to find the way by Taylor Caprera. Up off of turn number four and across the line, it will be Fuller taking the top spot away. We click off lap number nine. Nine laps are down, 25 laps is the distance here. But the green lights are back on and Fuller sees it first, gets away into turns one and two. Billy Dunn trying to roll that extreme outside lane and make it work. Up off the turn. Fuller and Dunn, one and two, nine wins combined between these two drivers last year here at can alone. And right now the machine gun is working the top side of perfection. Billy Dunn to the lead as we click off lap number 11. As Fuller may have been saving a little something. That's about as close as he has been to Billy Dunn all race long within a car length and a half right now as they head up into turn number three and four. Dunn rolls the middle. Fuller still stuck to that inside lane. The lap car of Chantel Provence right in front of the leaders. He's going to come down across the line. Fuller's going to have to get up off the bottom. That's going to mess the entry angle up for Fuller into turns one and two as he had to move to the high lane to get around Chantel Provence. Good side-by-side -side battle for the lead and Tim Fuller trying to get it back. Lost the lead on lap number 11. Trying to close in and take it away from Dunn into turn number three and four as they cross the line this time by. We'll have five laps left to go. Five more remain and lap traffic is coming into play. Michael Cousins right there in front of the leaders. Dunn and Fuller go to the bottom. They have to get by Cousins into turns one and two. Dunn to put him a lap down. Off of turn number four, white flag in the air. Final time around for Billy Dunn and Tim Fuller. Top two are gonna settle it right here for the win as they head up into turns one and two. Fuller, can he do anything with Billy Dunn right now? Dunn still trapped behind the lap car, Dan Bichard. Down the back straightaway, final time into turn number three and four. Billy Dunn out of Watertown, New York. Five wins last season, breaks through tonight. Opening day win goes to Billy Dunn. Tim Fuller will cross in.